Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see the floating carriage micrometer. So let's get started. Here is the diagram of the floating carriage micrometer. It is basically a device or an instrument, a measuring instrument used to measure the diameters of screw. It means for a given screw we can measure the outer diameter of the screw, then we can measure the root diameter or even the effective diameter or the main diameter. It means I will just draw a rough profile here. So here is the diagram of a simple screw thread profile and that screw thread profile consists of the core diameter also called as the root diameter. This is the minimum diameter in a screw. Then we have the outer diameter also called as a nominal diameter. So basically DC and DO they can be measured for a given screw by using the floating carriage micrometer and even we can measure the mean diameter which I am showing here and that mean diameter is nothing but the average of DC and DO. So these diameters can be measured with the help of the floating carriage micrometer and how the arrangement is the diagram which we have here this is the top view of the floating carriage micrometer and this consists of these are the pillars of the floating carriage. So there are two pillars and on that pillars we have some centers as given here. These are the pointed centers. The screw thread is held between these two centers as we can see here this is the job or we can say the screw thread profile. So it is kept in between the centers. Then on one end we have a micrometer drum which would be giving us the reading. And just opposite to it, we have the fiducial indicator as shown over here. So here is the micrometer drum and this is the fiducial indicator. At the same time, we have a clamping screw here. Now the micrometer consists of an anvil as it is shown here. The anvil shape can be different when we are measuring the outer diameter and the inside diameter. So we have, accordingly, we have to use different shape of the anvil. For example, if we are measuring the outer diameter that is DO, the anvil would be, it would be flat or we can say cylindrical. But if we want to measure the internal diameter that is DC or the core diameter, the shape of the anvil is pointed. So the type of anvil shape depends upon which kind of feature or which diameter we are measuring. Then. The reading would be indicated on the micrometer drum by using the same micrometer principle and fiducial indicator is that which gives us the amount of pressure we are applying in order to clamp this screw because the screw thread should not get damaged when we are using it on this machine. So for that purpose we have the fiducial indicator which would be indicating the amount of pressure which we are applying. So now why it is called as floating carriage micrometer? The reason being simple is that the screw thread is held between two centers and it is not in contact with the ground or we can say with the body or the base of this floating carriage because it is held between the centers. So it is somewhat at a distance away from the base and that is why it is called as floating because here it is just held between these two centers and there is a distance between the base and the screw thread. It is not lying onto the table. So it is in the floating manner that is why it is called as the floating carriage micrometer and at the same time this machine would require a greater amount of care while taking the reading and we can say that just it is used to measure the outer diameter, the core diameter or the main diameter.
for any screw thread and for that purpose we have to use either the two wire method or the three wire method so that i will be explaining in the further videos so in short that was an explanation regarding the floating carriage micrometer at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching